Hello guys, welcome to the part 9 of this tutorial series and in this part we are going to discuss how to use the if, else if and else statements in Python all together. Now in the previous part you learned the basics of if and else conditional statements. Now here we will dive a bit further beyond the basics of just if and else and we will see the significance of the elif statement. Elif statement is just a combination of two words else and if. Now as you know by now if we were to rely on just if and else, we are limited to just a binary outcome. That means you can set your program to execute a specified block of code if the given condition is satisfied. But uh, in case if the stated condition is not fulfilled, whatever you specify under else will get executed. But what if you wanted to specify multiple conditions instead of just one? Well that's where the elif statement comes in. We can still use the same simple example of assessing the criteria of a student obtaining a certain mark to see whether the student has passed the exam or not to explain the application of an elif statement. Now consider the following case. If the student obtains a score of higher than 75, we would like to print the statement saying, well done, you have passed the test with an excellent score. But let's say for the students who obtain the marks between 50 and 74, we can say something like, Congratulations, you have passed the exam. But finally for all the other cases, which means in this case it's going to be the students who got points between 0 and 49. We are going to say sorry, you have not managed to pass the test. So the code for that is actually going to look something like this. As you can see over here, I have already opened up the Python shell as well as the code editor over here. So let me just go ahead and create a variable called result again. And for the time being, I'm going to keep this one just like this and if the result is greater than or equal to 75 then we will say that print as I mentioned before we would like to say well done you have passed the test with an excellent score something like this and now what's different from the previous tutorial is that we have another possible outcome which we can simply enter by saying elif you can even make a space if you would like to make things a bit clear and now over here we have to specify the condition which corresponds to someone obtaining the result which is higher than 50 but less than 74 so we can say something like if elif the result is greater than or equal to 50 and the result is less than 75 you can simply put some brackets like this and if the score is in between these two then what would be the outcome the outcome would be congratulations you have passed the exam now when you look at this and if you know that the score grading criteria is from 0 to 100 the other possible outcome is actually is going to be someone getting a score which is between 0 and 49 in this case we don't really have to bother about all the other possible outcomes because we have the else statements and else statement will actually take care of that we can say that print For all the other outcomes we can say that sorry you have not you have not managed to pass the test so this is actually a very basic uh, usage of the elif statement now let's test this out let's say that if we specify the result to be something above 75 let's say we put the result to be 85 and if we run this yeah, we have to save the document we have to save the script i'm going to name this as grading criteria dot py and now you can see that the response is well done you have passed the test with an excellent score all right let's say that if we were to enter a score between 50 and 75 let's say the student got about 65 and if we run this 
you can see that the response is congratulations you have passed the exam and if you would like to test this out let's say that if the person got exactly 50 you can run this and you can see that it actually still belongs to this particular category which means that the prompt will just be congratulations you have passed the exam but let's say that if somebody didn't manage to score beyond 50 let's say unfortunately they managed to score only 49 and now if I run the script you can see that it says sorry you have not managed to pass the test so I guess you got the basic idea of the application of an elif statement now here we did add in one elif statement because we just had one extra criteria but guess what we are not limited to just one elif statement in fact we are not limited to any number of elif, elif statements that means we can add as many criteria as we want all we have to do is just slide in another elif statement and then add in your condition and then you're good to go now for example look at the following set of criteria. Again, we are going to use the same example, but with some additional criteria. Now, as you can see over here, the responses are actually not just limited to three. In this case, we have different responses for students getting different, different types of scores. For example, for someone who scores 100 out of 100, he gets something like, excellent, you have gotten the full marks for this test and your grade is A+, something like that. And the responses follow accordingly, as you can see over here on the screen. So let's see how we can actually input this into into a script like this. Now I can use the same script but then do some amendments accordingly. So the first condition is if the result is equal. Now in Python we cannot just specify one equal when we are specifying the conditional statements. It has to be equals equals double equals and if the result equals equals to 100 then we get the response And your grade is A plus. All right. Now I'm going to use the second elif statement, which we already have here, to specify the second condition. If the result is greater than 80, greater than or equal to 80, but less than 100, which means not including 100, which means everything starting from 80, including 80, all the way up to 99. And the response will be, congratulations, you have passed the test and your grade is like this. I'm going to drop this else statement just a bit below because we have a couple of elif statements actually which we have to slide in like this. Now the th third criteria is for someone who is getting a score of greater than or equal to 75 but less than 80 just like this and his grade would be b and the third criteria is well the fourth criteria is the result equal or greater than 50 but less than 75 and that person will get a grade of c and finally everything below 50 which we again can actually specify using an elif statement but since you do not have to worry about that, we can simply just pass an else statement and let the program decide all the other criteria which actually do not fit into any of these which are specified over here. And for that, the response is, sorry, you have not managed to pass the test like that. All right, now we'll put this into test and see. Let's say if somebody who got 100 marks out of 100, that's going to be Excellent, you have gotten full marks for this test and your grade is A+. Plus. And for someone, let's say, who got about 85, it's going to be congratulations, you passed the test and your grade is A. And let's say someone who got their marks from 75 to 80, well, it's actually a bit of a small gap, but uh, that's all right, just for the sake of this tutorial. Let's say about 77.5 for some reason and when we run that you can see that that grading criteria is actually b and let's say someone who scored about 55 should get a c according to this yeah and finally if the person got let's say 25 the response will be sorry you have not managed to pass the test 
Alright guys, I hope by now you managed to get a solid grasp on how to use if, else and elif condition statements. Now we are going to conclude this tutorial here and in the next part I'll explain to you how you can actually blend all of these concepts to develop a bit of a complex but a lot more fun application using conditional statements. So I'll see you guys in the next one.